Volkswagen Cross Caddy, or as we at Car like to call it, the Green Mamba. And it's been a trusty workhorse since its arrival at the end of 2014. We've tested it over 20,000 kilometers, and what we found in that time is it is a really versatile vehicle thanks to its large interior cabin and solid turbo diesel engine. So we received our Cross Caddy in Viper Green with GTI Design 17 inch alloy wheels. We really love the design of the Cross Caddy because of how well it combines versatility with adventure. And that's very important because the whole point of a crossover is to combine these two elements. The Caddy name has been around for a very long time, but this is the first time Volkswagen has given it the crossover treatment. Being based in a commercial vehicle, we couldn't really think of any competitors, which is why we love the Cross Caddy so much. So inside, we get to see more of a rugged personality. The seats do have green accenting, and so do the door panels, but most of what you get is hard plastic, which still looks really good considering the amount of work we put this car through. The Cross Caddy comes with a very simple radio interface with Bluetooth integration and an AUX port, but there's no USB port, which is concerning. The most useful feature we found in the Caddy though is the heated seats, which really came in handy for our early morning shoots, especially during the winter but most of the interior's focus should be placed on everything behind the driver's seat. So if you're using your caddy with all of the seats in, you will find boot space to be very limited. You can get a trailer or a roof box, but doing this means that parking the caddy in a small garage will be a challenge. These seats are removable, but they are also very tricky to use, so you'll more than likely need a hand putting them back in. With both rows of seats removed, as you can see, the Cross Caddy has a lot of interior space, which comes in handy if you're carting around luggage or equipment. Only problem is that the color-coded bumper can get dented and scratched quite easily when you're loading things in and out. The hard plastic panels here ensure that the same thing doesn't happen on the inside. So powering our Cross Caddy is the now controversial 2-liter TDI. Despite all the bad press it's been receiving over the past few months, the car editorial still places it as a favorite. Driving the front wheels through a five-speed manual gearbox, the Cross Caddy has constantly proven itself to us, especially after a certain Volkswagen dealership filled it with almost half a tank of petrol. Inside the cabin, fairly quiet, but there is a bit of a diesel grumble being based on a commercial vehicle on it. It works well in both urban and long distance driving environments and despite being a slightly on the heavy side 2 litre turbo diesel engine, we were surprised by how frugal it was. I mean granted most of the driving it did was on the long roads, it averaged at around 8.2 litres per 100 kilometres which is, is very impressive. It's also got a bit of a ride height increase which means it's quite capable on gravel roads which makes all of the difference if I'm honest. Cross Caddy has a very sensitive clutch as well, so taking off from stop streets, intersections will be a pain at first. It takes some time to get used to. The main issue with the Cross Caddy is, of course, the parking. Um, it has the dimensions of a panel van, so visibility isn't amazing, but the parking sensors do definitely come in handy. The Cross Caddy has a bittersweet ending because it was discontinued several months ago, but Replacing it will be the Caddy Alltrack, which is basically the same thing, but with a few options made available. Things such as 4Motion DSG transmission will be made available to people who want them, which is what we felt the Caddy needed. 